Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. I'm an affiliate painter for Red Grass Games and also the head mecha and sci-fi painter for Vallejo Colors. I write painting articles for Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. I also write articles for Fantasy Figures International Magazine. Lastly, if you're into Gunpla, do use my discount code for usagundamstore.com. Links down below. Today we paint green skins. Also, we are testing my new Grafo airbrush at the latter part of the video. And of course, later we have tip time. Prime this Orc models with Vallejo Surface Primer. We start with Mecha Chipping Brown. So the idea here is to have undersides in brown color so that the hard to reach areas, hard to reach with the brush paint, will be dark brown and then I'm going to use also Mecha Brown which is a very nice undercoat for any color and but it's my first time to see if it will work over or under green so we'll see I thin Mecha paints three parts paint and one part thinning sauce and then I'm using a 0.4 infinity airbrush at 20-ish PSI I apply the Chipping Brown and the Mecha Brown in three thin coats. Using a thin down Game Ink Black and Game Ink Sepia, we bring out all the details again by giving it like a gen generous wash of these inks. Then we let this dry. Once dry, we could then paint with our paintbrush. I use various model color greens here, but you could mix your paints like do create intermediate colors by mixing darker greens and lighter greens but i like using many colors so that the video will be easy to follow and also to test all the paints that i have here we mix beige brown and the darker green color so that when we apply it on the model which is dark brown because of the washes it won't jump out and stick like a sore thumb so by mixing beige brown which is close to our undercoat which we airbrushed it won't like stick out and it will blend a bit better now it's a matter of mixing all this paint so that we have intermediate colors so that our shading will be smooth even though we don't do glazing in between the paints because you could actually do glazing once you're done with the layering that will save you a bit of time this is army painting anyways i'm not like creating a super super high quality painting here i just try to elevate the painting of the army this is a commission work but i wanted it to look really good but at the same time not too much time allotted per model so if you notice, I do layering with different shades of greens, getting lighter and lighter and painting less and less areas so that I make all those details pop. But also if you notice, I don't glaze yet. I don't use the glaze medium yet. I just do rough sketching and layering of the colors, making sure that all the areas that should pop, that should be like, you basically you're creating volume with your sketching without thinking of glazing yet since we mix a lot of intermediate colors you you can notice that the transitions are kind of smooth this is actually good already especially for army painting but we're going to push it further and try to make it look better now we use game ink black green to like blend everything together this gives like this blends all of the colors together and it's a really quick like sort of glazing technique in a way now we mix beige red and another green color this will be the elbows the knuckles at the hand and maybe a bit of the neck but basically we're just introducing more color so that it won't be too like too green I don't blend the flesh, the beige red colors too much. I like the look that it's a different skin tone. Now we build up a bit more highlights with lime green. Also, we're going to mix this with ice yellow to give more highlights. And then apply it on very small areas of the model. Also, we're going to apply a bit of flesh wash to give a fleshy color or shadow to the green skin so that it won't be too green and the uh, orc skin will be a bit or will look a bit more organic 
now we test the Grafo airbrush. This just came when I was painting the orcs. So I wanted to test it. It's weird because it doesn't have a cup and it's a 0.15 needle. The Grafo airbrush feels different than my 0.15 Infinity. It feels like, like it's single action. I'm not really sure I haven't read the manual, but it felt like a single action. You just pull the trigger and then you control the paint flow without much control of the airflow, which makes everything simpler. So it's great for highlighting and touch-ups without much need to control the airflow. It's, it's an awesome airbrush. I enjoyed it so much. So I painted the rest of the orcs with just the airbrush actually. And it yielded like a better skin because the transitions are really, really smooth. So the other orc, especially this small orc, I painted it with just the airbrush. So it's I, I brush painted the dark green and then did shading with the airbrush. So the Grafo airbrush is really great for highlighting. Um, I kind of felt like I wasted my time painting the first orc with glazing and layering. But well, the airbrush came a bit late. After the airbrushing, we basically I, I finished like the first model with brush painting for like an hour. But I finished the rest of the model like the three other orc models in less than an hour. So that's the airbrush for you. But it's, it's also really enjoyable because it's a new airbrush. So I enjoyed testing it on these models. So now basically you were adding more highlights mixing ice yellow with beige red or old rose to create more skin tones and stuff and also adding more highlights with the green skin and also we're using a bit of flesh wash again uh, ink flesh wash game ink flesh wash which will introduce a bit of warmness to the skin tone again to make it look more organic now we apply white we mix white with ice yellow and then apply extreme highlights to the skin this will make the skin look really shiny and wait until you watch the tip time so that i'll give you the tip of if you don't like the shiny green skin but i'm kind of liking the look so far it's really shiny and sweaty because he's fighting his way out of a war so now we're finishing up the models. We're basically applying tiny bits of really extreme highlights with white mixed with basically it's ivory because it's white mixed with ice yellow. Now it's tip time. Regardless if you use an airbrush or you layered with brush painting, your control paint, eh, for me at least, will be the lime green mixed with glaze medium. This will soften all the transitions regardless if you use the airbrush or brush painted the layers. And then this will also reduce the shininess of the model. If you use this mixture of glaze medium and lime green, you could paint it over the white highlights. Then the skin won't be as shiny. So basically the lime green plus glaze medium will be your control paint. So that's it for now. I, I see some areas that I could blend more, but I have to move on and paint the other parts or other elements of this model so that I could move on to the other models of this kill team. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos! Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel.